പ്രവാസി വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളുടെ പഠന സൗകര്യാർത്ഥം ഭവൻസ് ഒരുക്കുന്ന ചർച്ചാ പരിപാടി കാണാം especially in accountancy question paper for that we have our expert mr sushant our uh, subject expert for accountancy sushant sir what do you think are the changes made by cbsc in the new sample question paper and how do you think students can make best use of that in in terms of scoring better marks actually cbsc made so many changes in the pattern of question paper as far as accountancy is concerned Uh, last episode we discussed about the syllabus the complete one chapter they deleted from accountancy that is non trading organizations accounting system now we have partnership accounts we have company accounts now analysis of financial statements and cash flow so part 1 contains partnership accounting and company accounts so when you are analyzing uh, sample paper released by cbse we have 20 mcq questions which carries one mark each so 20 marks mcq questions are there out of that um, mainly 11 questions are from partnership accounts as per the content wise and five questions are from company accounts ratio related questions only one question is there from mcq part and cash flow related two question this is a composition of 20 marks mcq this may vary but as per the content wise partnership carries maximum weightage for mcq and mcq questions when you are going through the sample paper you can see majority of the mcq question requires lots of workings to find out the answer example earlier we were uh, these type of questions were asking for 3 marks and 4 marks these two questions are asking now for mcq type so children need to work a lot they need more practice to score well or good marks in mcqs as per the new latest pattern now come to the three marks area there are six questions which carries three marks each and there are four parts four three mark questions are from part 1 that is partnership and company accounts and two mark two questions are from cash flow and ratio and financial statement analysis part and when you are going through three mark question on one question we have or in internal choice also and majority uh, contribution from partnerships um, related with the death of a partner one question is there and the profit and loss appropriation students should be very careful fundamentals of partnership the basics of partnership when you are going through the sample paper lots of questions they are asking from fundamental part normally students will leave that part because we have past adjustments there we have profit and loss appropriation preparation there so lots of uh, so many small small parts uh, questions are there from the pa- basic part so cbsc has given maximum weightage to that first part of the partnership accounting so that uh, profit and loss appropriation preparation past adjustment is asked for uh, internal choice and at the same time goodwill valuation one question is there and financial statement theory one question is from financial statement theory mainly they are asking for the ratio analysis its limitations advantage all these things and and ratio analysis one question is also uh, ratio analysis one uh, theoretical aspect they completely covered under the three mark question and issue of shares and debentures one question is there from issue of share issue of debentures consideration other than cash that means one business is acquiring another business and in consideration to that uh, business is issuing debentures and all so students this normally uh, in per- earlier pattern also these questions were asking for three marks now also they included the same pattern of for three mark questions and profit and loss appropriation and past adjustments i am i am again giving uh, instruction to the students to p- definitely should go, go through a good coverage for the pro- basics of partnership you should cover it properly because there are lots of marks we can expect from this first part of the partnership accounting and when comes to the four mark questions there are three four mark questions are there out of that two questions are from uh, partnership and company and one question from financial statement analysis so four mark question three four mark questions are there one is from dissolution one uh, dissolution of partnership and the second one is from balance sheet preparation as per the company accounts we need to show how to present a capital in the balance sheet capital in the balance sheet 
and students should note is uh, should note how to prepare notes to accounts and how to present share capital in the balance sheet. This type of question either for 3 or 4 marks definitely CBSE can ask for the examination. And one is ratio calculation. Ratio calculation they will ask two ratios to calculate for 4 marks. Any combination, one solvency, one liquidity or one turnover ratio, one profitability ratio or any ratio they can ask for 4 marks. And the thing is that uh, when you are attending ratio analysis question, you should write formula first because formula carries some marks. So after formula, then you start calculation which is related to the uh, ratio which is asked in the uh, examination paper. When it comes to the 6 mark area, that the highest content or highest weightage is given for 6 marks. Earlier we have 8 mark question, now we have 6 mark question only. Instead of 2 8 mark question in the part A, we have 5 6 mark questions. So 5 6 mark questions total 30 marks are from this area, almost we have uh, around 30-40% marks are from this area only. So, students should be very uh, careful while attending this section. Uh, 4 question are from partnership and company accounts and 1 question is from cash flow. So, cash flow we have no internal choice and out of this 5 question when you are seeing, 2 questions have options, only 2 questions we have options. That means the rest of the four questions of six marks, we don't have any option. And uh, two question, uh, one cash flow, definitely they will ask for six marks and cash flow we have no internal choice I told you. Then cash flow can be asked in two ways, either cash flow statement with operating cash flow only they can ask or cash flow full statement. If they are asking full cash flow statement, then uh, operating cash flow calculation will be very less, very uh, one or two adjustments will be there to find out the operating profit before working capital adjustments and only one or two current asset adjustments will be there. Otherwise, if they are asking only cash flow from operating activity, we can expect more calculation in the operating part, uh, maybe uh, non-operating expenses, non-cash expenses, these type of items will be there in the question and students should know how to deal with these items. And when it comes to the partnership part, uh, partnership uh, part as per the CBSE uh, sample paper, admission or retirement. This is one question for 6 mark. Uh, in both the question, students need to prepare revaluation account, partner's capital account and balance sheet of the, balance sheet is not asked, only uh, revaluation account and partner's capital account. Earlier, as per the previous pattern, we had for 8 marks, we have, we, we had uh, revaluation account, partner's capital and balance sheet. Now, only revaluation account and partner's capital account is there and both admission part and the retirement part also. And another question, death of a partner, we have no choice for this question. In death of a partner, we need to pass journal entry also. Normally students will, uh, will not give attention to journal entries. So very careful, in this time, I think they can ask even for 6 months journal entries only. So normally students will focus on revaluation, capital and all this part. But you should equally give importance for journal entries also. They can ask even journal entry for admission, admission related questions also revaluation of assets, revaluation of liability, revaluation profit, loss and partners capital related items, transfer of accumulated profit and losses. These type of journal entry also they can ask for 6 marks. And death of a partner, we told to prepare a journal entry plus executor's account also. If a partner dies uh, in between the financial year, how to find out the profit or loss of partner uh, uh, until the date of death that we need to calculate on the basis of sales, on the basis of time different method and on the basis of that we need to transfer uh, the amount to legal executors account also that is there for 6 mark. When it comes to the company accounts as usual for feature and reissue related question are there for 6 marks, um, particular number of shares are for feeding out of that a part of shares or a part of shares are reissuing and what is the amount of course we need to find out the working note clearly we should show the working note and capital reserve amount to be pointed out and we need to pass the entry for that. And both the question for feature and reissue are same and debenture, so this is a new type of question they asked debenture, issue of debenture and they are uh, additional like shares they are issuing additional debentures for funding and after that they need to prepare, we need to prepare loss on issue of debenture and interest related issues or interest related uh, entries of debentures. This analysis of the paper was useful to all of you. Hope you will be following the suggestions by sir and uh, wish you all the best.